Hello and welcome to the Wiltshire Caravans handover video for this Eldest Crusader Mistral. This is a 2015 model. Um, just so you're aware, I have already undone all the lockers, etc. So these don't normally stick out as far as this, but I have undone them uh, just for all the sake of ease uh, during this video. Starting around the back as we always do. So we've got uh, obviously the light clusters, so that's for your uh, reversing lights, indicators, brake lights and running lights. Area, nice big area for your number plate. And uh, these are the rear corner steadies down here. Grab handles um, to help you move the uh, caravan around. Going over to the offside, first thing we get to is the toilet cassette area. So it's the standard set for the cassette. You may notice there's no uh, reservoir, a separate reservoir for your pink fluid. Uh, these just uh, work off the water supply. So just take that out, just lift that up, put it straight towards you. You'll know when it needs emptying because there's a light on in the toilet area that tells you so. Uh, so to empty it, push that forward, remove the cap, just leaving that on for uh, this demonstration. Then tip it forward and press that button there. That will release any pressure to empty out the, uh, the cassette. You will want to uh, rinse it out at that point. So slide that back, open the flap, rinse out, close that again, put the slide back. Just give it a bit of a swill about and then just repeat, okay? Um, you'll need to put some uh, of the blue fluid or green fluid, depending on what you're going to use. Uh, on the cap itself, there, is a, there are measures. So depending on what uh, the uh, instructions say on the manual, fill those up and delete if required. Dilute it, not delete. Okay, this handle is uh, retractable, so you can pull that out and kick it around like a bit of a trolley. Okay, so that's the toilet cassette area. Next we come to, obviously you've got windows up here, but next we come to, uh, operationally, is the water outlets, the waste outlets. So that's the grey waste, we call it. So the water from the shower and the two sinks, bedroom and bathroom. That goes into the waste master or into if you've got a pretty service pitch you can just put that straight down the drain okay uh, alloy wheels single axle model alloy wheels uh, the nuts are tightened up to 130 newton meters and uh, the tire pressures are uh, around on the other side on the weight plate so i'll show you that very shortly okay, you've got the um, freezer and the fridge vents to do anything with that. This particular model has got a power touch evolution uh, auto engage motor mover on it. That's uh, a separate video which I will send uh, along. So, battery locker is the next bit. Okay, so it's got a great big battery in there. And there's your electric hookup. And there's your uh, the isolator for the motor mover. Now, that part uh, is put there specifically so you cannot uh, move the caravan uh, with the electric hookup plugged in. Um, I'm told that power touch show you can do, uh, however you may end up getting the plugged in. You might just pull it off the pole, off your electricity pole, so that's why we do that. Next bit is the water inlet. Now, the water pump itself, I put one in the front locker, so just bear with me two seconds, I'll grab that for you. That there is the exhaust. Uh, if you're using the Alder hot water and heating system on gas, that's the exhaust area for it. Right into the uh, gas locker. And here's a pump I prepared earlier. So it's the whale water pump cunningly disguised as a demo. Um, I'll just show you how that goes in. That literally just pushes in there and clips down there. 
this part of the pump here goes into your Acarol and that just goes over the top of the Acarol to stop any uh, dirt or anything going in. And when you're refilling your Acarol, you can just clip that in there and hold it in place. Okay. Now go around to the front. Here's the gas locker itself. Uh, room for two gas bottles. Pigtail on here, we pigtail to set up the propane. There's your electric roll, electric roll, electric hook up in there, and the customer water pump, also a leg winder in there. Three windows at the front on the, uh, on the Aldis, nice big windows. Running on the Alco chassis, uh, so this model has got the Alco ATC, ATC being Alco trailer control. Sensor underneath the chassis that uh, detects any swaying or strange movements, and when it does do that, it damps the brakes on just to ensure that the caravan is stable. Hopefully, the only time you should notice it is when you uh, uh, go over a speed hump. You might feel the caravan a bit heavy for a, uh, a couple of seconds. Okay, grab handles on the front again to help move around, but this one obviously with the. Uh, Auto engaged motor mover, doesn't have to worry about that. Okay, going around to the near side. This one's got an, uh, an external gas barbecue point. So you can uh, enjoy your barbecues outside, use the gas bottle that you've got inside. Um, needless to say, and I always say this, please do not use a gas barbecue inside an awning. You've also got an external locker. It just goes under the front bench, but it does have a 230 volt socket and uh, an external antenna point. I just say briefly about the weight plate, uh, about the tyre pressures. So this is the weight plate for this particular caravan. So the maximum plated weight is 1550. The massive running order is 1397, uh, but that doesn't include the motor movers weigh about 32 kilos ish. Um, so tire pressure on here is 65 psi so it is quite high. Um, the wheel bolt torque says 102 for the steel so the steel is the spare wheel which is located underneath the caravan but for the alloys is 130 newton meters. Then all there is there is it's just that's a an external locker that goes under the bed, uh, which you can get access to, obviously from outside or from from inside. And talking of inside, we'll go in, have a quick little round before we do the uh, the more in-depth stuff. So lounge area. Apologies, there's an area for the TV to go. There's the bed, and luckily you can still get walk around quite quite easily with the bed extended out. And then the bathroom, that's all we looked. That's a heated towel rail, so that does get hot, so be aware of that. There's your bathroom room sink, and then your shower unit. But, uh, Seconds. And we get to the to the, the bits that uh, make the whole thing work. So here we are inside. The uh, controls are all on the left-hand side as you walk in. I'll try and make this as clear as I can. So when you come in. When you've arrived on site, put your electric hook up in. Well, you don't have any, it will work on the on the 12 volt battery, but it'll, you'll only have lights uh, pretty much for on the 12 volt. But the master switch is that one, so power on. Very straightforward. Here you've got your menus. But this is the time. It's not the time, but that's where the time is. Um, but the menus. Water level, you've got an internal tank in here and it's showing just under 80 
80% full at the moment. Got an option of a fill internal tank. So when you want to fill the internal tank, you need to have your Aperol full and your pump in as it is outside. And then, and then just press enter. Then turn pump on to use this function. That's the water pump. I'm not going to turn it on because we haven't got the uh, system uh, we haven't got any water outside. Then you've got the option internal tank press that. You've got external tank so you can just use your Acrol, you don't have to use the internal tank. I'm going to that on there. If I press the pump, you might be able to hear there's the pump running. So, to show you how that works. Next choice, user settings. So press the enter again. And you've got, you can change the contrast on the screen, turn the sound on or off. Length of standby. It will tell you when the water's low. It will tell you when the battery's low. You can shut down now from here. But when you change anything, you need to exit and main menu. So you will need to save it. To go to main menu. Okay. Internally, it's 33 degrees in here at the moment, and it feels like it. The battery is at 13.6 volts, but we are plugged into the mains, so I'm not surprised. And then you're back at the time again to set the clock. Press enter, keep it pressed in, and then you can just change time as you wish. Enter, enter. Hope that makes a little bit of sense. It's not difficult, uh, but if you've got any questions, do give me a call. Water pump, as I've already shown you. Next one, that's the internal lights. Bear in mind we're in the UK. We're going up to the heating system, the Alde 3020 system. I'll turn it off to start with. So the power button is that one. Come up with this little message to start with. First screen showing you that internally it thinks it's 31 degrees in here. So one of the thermometers says 33, one says 31. Both of you are hot. We're plugged into the electric as well. Press menu. That'll get you to your first screen. So the top one is how warm or cold do you want it in here? It's the heating, so it's the thermostat, so up and down. It's simple as that. Up and down. Change the temperature in here. Second one down is the water. So if there's no, if the, that triangle is empty, there's no, no hot water. Press plus once and you will get to um, half a triangle. That will give you enough hot water 99% of the time. If you do need to boost the hot water for 30 minutes, boost it, but that will take away all the heat, the power that you're using on this system from the heating and go just to the hot water. So your, your heating will go off when you do that, so be aware. Underneath, we've got um, how much electricity we're gonna use. So our options are obviously off, so no power to it, nothing's happening. One kilowatt. Now one kilowatt will heat things up, but very slowly. I always recommend going to two kilowatts, um, so that will heat this caravan up and hot water very quickly. And then if you are on a metered pitch or anything, you can maintain it by going back down to one kilowatt. But to get it up to speed, two kilowatts is my recommendation. You can use three if you have that power supply of that much near you. Um, but as that's over, you know, around about 13 amps plus, not many sites give you that option. So two to get going, one to maintain. If you are going off grid, or if you want to use two kilowatts and heat everything up really, really quickly, you can put the gas on as well. Or you can just use the gas. There's a menu. There are loads and loads of things in this menu. You have got, you have got a daytime setting, a nighttime setting. Sorry, that takes the time. Nighttime setting, daytime setting. Uh, there are an awful lot of things on here that I can show you. It will take us all day long. Uh, I will send uh, a video link from Alva themselves. It's 
well worth looking at if you want things to be a little bit more complicated. However, if you want things to be simple, that setting, but a tech shop to, to, your, to your liking, uh, is, is the way to go, to be honest. Then when you can turn everything off, when you turn it back on, it will still be at that setting. I don't think we need to keep hot water on at the moment. It's a bit warm. And these are just light switches again. So you do have light, individual light switches all over the place. These little lights have all got light switches. Um, and there's loads of these dotted about. That's the kitchen light. So right under the kitchen. Yeah. Lots and lots of different lights about. Hopefully, those controls are really quite straightforward and quite clear. You may think, oh, what's this thing? Right, okay, so this caravan has got an alarm system. This key fob, you've got uh, two buttons. The big button, one beep sets the alarm, two beeps turns the alarm off. It does have a panic button. You will press this by accident one day. These will be in your pocket and you will press them. It will set the alarm off and you will jump out of your skin. So just be aware if you press that, if your alarm suddenly goes off, you've probably got these in your pocket and you need to press that one pretty quick. <laughs> uh, I actually took mine right off and left it in the drawer, right me to death. <laughs> but that little area, as I was saying up there, every now and then that will flash red once. And that's absolutely fine. If it flashes red three times, it just needs resetting. On your keys, you will have, it uh, looks like an old immobilizer from 1987 Escort. Put that up in there, see it. Push in to reset. Okay. Right, whilst we've been talking about the water, the most important thing in a caravan particularly at winter time, is to drain out any water that might be in here. Now to do that, there is a specific drain down valve, a little yellow valve, and it is under here. So if I get down on my hands and knees, I might not be able to get back up again. I can certainly get down here. So there you see that yellow tap. That yellow tap, as it stands, or as it is, is allowing water into the caravan from the pump to drain all the water out and you need to lift that up that will drain all the water out of the hot water tank and make sure you open all your taps so your shower uh, bathroom sink and kitchen sink to allow all air, the air to come through drain all water out for winter time specifically a lot of people drain these down uh, before traveling they because if you've got these full up you've probably got about between 10 and 15 kilograms of extra weight you're carrying around in water so it's up to you whether you drain it down. I never did. I probably should have because of fuel <laughs> Also under here, under this bench, you've got your breaker switches and your fuses. They're all labelled up, so you shouldn't really go wrong with those. Um, The odd degrees and it feels like it okay so we've got uh, blinds um blinds go like that fly screens follow them afterwards and they're the same all the way through the ca uh, caravan except for this one this one's just got a blind because the window doesn't open so there's no fly screen okay at the front we've also got a little table which just comes out So for break, breakfast, coffee, uh, of an evening you might want a game of cards or a couple of glasses of uh, adult lemonade. Uh, but uh, yeah, so that comes out. Let's put it back in, lift up the top, push back in. Very simple. Lots of drawers. If you do need to make the bed up, there's some slats that come out. You can make that into a, into a double bed. Uh, just by moving the cushions about. Get the important thing, the chiller. I mean the fridge. So the fridge, the Dometic fridge, power on, 
is that one. Alright, so it's trying to cook up on gas there. Cook up. Can't <laughs> to start up on gas. We're not connected, so it won't work. This one, that's for your car alternator to run off your alternator. Let's just put that on so it's quiet. So if you go onto this one, this is so you can run on the car. As long as you've got a 13 pin or two sevens, your fridge will maintain a temperature. It won't cool down from the start, so if you're in storage, your journey out there, it, it won't do anything. However, coming back, if you put it on there, once, it, once the fridge is already cold, perfect, that will just maintain that temperature. And whilst we're talking about temperatures, to change the temperature on the fridge, press the thermometer looking thing, and that's it, all good. Fridge itself, got a little ice box, and, and all these bits. But it does preach things. Okay, so cooker. This cooker has got three gas burners and an electric hob. Um, so the gas itself has got, also got a um, separate grill and oven. There's the grill, there's the oven all run from these. This is the electric one. If you're worried that you might knock that and turn the electric hob on, underneath the cooker, or underneath the oven I should say, there is an electric uh, plug. Just unplug that. That's the isolator for the electric hob. We've also got a couple of gas valves here. Uh, if you're using propane, you can just turn things off at the bottle. But if you're on butane, um, can isolate turning the fridge, the gas to the fridge, fridge off, or turn gas off to the cooker. Light for the oven is there, and that's the sparker for all of them. Off here, microwave does microwavey things. Turn the eco on, and that will turn it on. It also has its own isolator in the cupboard above. I'm not going to teach anyone how to use a, a cooker or a microwave. Uh, uh, this corner piece here, this is where the TV uh, point is. A couple of 230 volt sockets as well. Um, yeah, that's uh, quite straightforward. In this cabinet is the reservoir for the um, glycol, for the uh, heating, the you know, the heating and hot water system. So that's 50% uh, glycol, 50% water. As long as the uh, fluid level is above minimum, just above minimum, uh, when the system's cold, that's good, because the uh, fluid does expand. Don't panic if it does expand. Um, it does go out of the cabin outside. You've also got your freestanding table in there. So, Bed. Now under the bed, remember we spoke a little bit earlier, whoops, a daisy, about the um, internal tank. Well, there's the internal tank. Um, to turn, it's currently the, the tap is closed, holding the water in. As you can see, there's quite a lot of water in there. To empty that water, we would literally oh, I'm not do it now. open that tap, Gravel, gravity would do the rest and all the water will go out of the system. Again, particularly for winter, massively important. Get that water out, you don't need any in here. Got a pressure switch, so if the, um, if the tap's a little bit, or if the water pressure is a little bit low, um, or you hear a clicking, you might need to adjust that pressure switch a little. Um, but you can always give us a call if there's anything you're not sure about, 01373. 752100, that's 01373, 752100. Uh, we've always got someone here who can help. Going to the toilet. Well, no, I'm not going to the toilet, but going to the toilet area. Uh, I did mention that uh, you'll know when to empty the cassette because that light will come on. That's the light that comes on. Probably will have a wheel or two left in it, but it's not worth taking the chance. There's the flush. Um, when you've done what you need to do in the toilet, make sure you open the flap 
to make sure it goes into the cassette. But before taking the cassette out, you must make sure that the flap is closed because um, that, that literally will stop you from removing the cassette, stop you from getting angry, and very much stop you from breaking anything. Heated towel rail, be aware that does get very hot. However, if it's only warm at the top and hot at the bottom, it bleeds just like an ordinary radiator, so it might be bleeding. And then the shower, works like a shower. The hot water in here is very hot, so be aware to use the, um, the mixer part of things thoroughly. Okay, also in the bedroom side, you've got another uh, <coughs> TV point, if you want to put a bracket in there. That depends if you want to watch TV in bed. Who knows? Now, my particular favorite bit of this caravan, this particular caravan, um, the owner has had air con fitted now. So, it's got the Truma Aventa air, air conditioning. That's the on button. That's actually the sound of the water draining out, not my stomach. <laughs> so, power on. And you will be, when I press power on, you'll see, hopefully, a little flashing light there. So hopefully, yeah, and here it comes. Ah, while I'm here, that warning is on to say that the fresh water tank is nearly empty. Let's enter to silence. Oh, so, yeah, the aircon is now on. Oh my goodness, that's lovely. Um, however, this is the, uh, the remote control. Various modes, you've got cooling and you've got the temperature. I can't imagine you'll use it for much more than cooling. Goes down to 16 is the, is the lowest. Hang on. Oh, that is fantastic. Right. Um, various modes, you've got cooling, you've got heating. Again, temperature works the same. Yeah, I don't think it needs to worry about that at the moment because it's already warm in here. You've also got auto, so that will, whichever you, it needs to do. And then you've got circulating of the air at the current temperature. But cooling is my favorite, it is my friend. You've also got fan strength, low, medium, high. Just take a few seconds for it to come through, to work its way through. You can set everything on it. Lots of things you can set timer-wise if you wish to do so. Uh, which is why we give you a book. Uh, I'd better turn it all off now. Turn it all off. That's my gentle So that's the um, 2015 Aldis Crusader Mistral. Um, any questions about this or anything else, uh, please don't hesitate to give us a call on 01373. 752100. Um, if you do like our videos, please like and subscribe. That would be nice. Um, but we'll see you again for the next one. Okay? Thanks very much. Bye bye.